Hello everybody, my name is Ansem, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 The Cold War. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we have won the Korean War. Well, we do kind of won. The United Nations is still a little bit picky about wanting to actually surrender. Can I, like, negotiate with them in any way? I don't actually know how exactly this works. So they don't... Look. The country you're trying to stop doesn't exist anymore. People's Republic of Iran. Request sanctions. I don't think I can really do with them, unfortunately. I would I would like for them to win, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I think you just all come down here. Like, will this just... I think now we can probably let's go drift to France. Conduct charm offensive. You know what? No, let's let's launch an anti-corruption campaign. It's gonna take 140 days. The question is, UN. Like, will you surrender? Because I don't know exactly how this works. Apparently, Korea's done 67%. I don't know if I really uh necessarily agree with that, but Libya is now an independent country. Hello, welcome uh, to the world. I mean, how do you possibly invade New York City as China? Answer is really, really, I don't know. Because it's like not, there's nobody around here who would give me military access. I mean, there's no way I can, um, Navally invade all the way over there. But I guess we're just going to kind of be in a... Uh... I mean, let me actually just take a look. Like, are you getting volunteers? No, you're not. Neutral foreign policy. Look, UN. I really, I really think you should just give up. Like, you've lost the war. I just don't know if there's anything I can really do about this. We might not be able to do anything, honestly. But you guys are not, like, a big, big deal. Is there anything else you'd want? I mean, not really. I think nationalization is just worse for us. I mean, it's, it's less stability. I mean, it's a little bit more consumer good factory, but that's basically it. Oh, you guys actually did win the war. Oh, fantastic. Um, you know, we do like each other, which is nice. You're not a recognized government. The two there are currently the ones in charge of the country. Yeah, so sign on an aggression pack with you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So overall, I'd say we're doing pretty, pretty well. Thank you, North Korea, for the uh, for the guns. I do appreciate it. There's 700 political power. What do I even spend this on? I mean, I guess I can, like, just get some claims going. Move capital. I don't see a reason to do that. You know, let's, let's click this button, because I don't really know what it does. I'm guessing you don't have 25 civilian factories for this to work, and that's why it kind of, uh, isn't working. I mean, again, look, UN. You've lost, okay? Let me actually just take a look. There's nobody down here who is, uh... No, nobody down here is actually of our, uh, faction. Opinion of us. I'm trying to think, when does um, Castro take over Cuba? Or when did they? It was the early 60s, I think. So I mean, think that's kind of out of the question for uh, using Cuba as a launching point to invade New York City. Or more specifically, we're invading one building in New York City. Which, is still, which I think is still kind of funny. 
Also, Austria still does not exist. I mean, I guess they still had they have Triest over here. I mean, it's worth five. You're not. You actually don't have any victory point value. You're actually worth zero. So actually, if we were to invade from Yugoslavia, how many troops does the game think they have? Seven to fourteen. Let's do some weird shit. But yeah, let's let's go to here. Why can't I not, do I not have get an aggression pack with Yugoslavia? We have military access. Can I not use military access to launch a naval invasion? What about from you? No, it's just not a, considered a valid location. Okay. I mean, I guess you guys going over there doesn't actually do anything then. Because there's no way I can um, invade from one of our ports to there. Like, that's just not going to happen. Embargo, licenses. I could just like war goal against you, but I feel like that's probably not in our best interest. So. If this is the case. I, I, I don't... How do how do we make sure I don't know. I do I do not know how we end this war. So I guess we just don't. We'll just be at perpetual war forever and hope that things go okay. We can introduce simplified Chinese, but I don't think there's actually a really reason to do so. I mean our weekly stability is still going up. So eventually it's gonna hit 100 percent no matter what. The only reason it's not 100 percent right now is because we're at war. And if it, even if we weren't at war, we'd be doing much better in this uh, regard. Actually, I think once we get widespread corruption fixed, yeah, we'll be we'll be at basically 100 anyways. So let's follow you up with. Thing is, like I'm already in the. The UN. Crafted. You know, let, let's see if we can get these uh, port cities under our control. It's going to be a little bit early for sure. Also, do I need any... You know, oil is usually pretty good. So we get some oil. And you know what? De develop as much of this as we possibly can. Oh, there it is. There's 314 days remaining. 307 days. Did I just say 314? Do I not know how to count days? I mean, Shredder Progress is at 100%. So... Now it's at 300. So apparently this is... They don't know how days work. Which I'm kind of okay with. So we have, we have about a year until this war is technically over. At that point, we'll then try to uh, demand a spot on the Security Council. Which, you know, might work. If we're lucky. And then we'll puppet Korea. And overall, I think that's going to be uh, quite nice for us. I mean, it gives us like a nice little point where we can maybe launch an invasion of Japan. I don't know why we'd want to do that. But, you know, it's always a, uh, a possibility for sure. I have so much political power. Like, I feel like we need to spend it on something. Military leader cost training time. You know what? Long training's fine. Batista's taking power in Cuba. Is there anything better here? Research speed of 7% is basically garbage because, as we know, there's no research speed at all. The ground support plus 10%, which I mean, that's pretty good actually. Navy anti air. Air Force Doctrine. I'm assuming this would give us uh, bonuses to research there, but of course, there's no research. I don't think you guys do anything. So, you know what? Let's go for submarine uh, Navy Focus. It doesn't do anything. But, I mean, well, what else am I going to uh, spend my political power on? Answer, like, again, like, not too much. But I can try, like, claiming territory. 
pronounced recognition of is there any countries that i just like don't want to recognize anymore like what about like afghanistan where it's like nah this country doesn't exist okay british hong kong leash negotiation well historically it was i think it was like what 1997 ish Gonna demand immediate return. Will they agree to it? We'll see. Let's demand uh, Macau as well. Develop. You know, let's develop more materials as well. I mean, again, we, we want to spend this uh, political power on something. We have 244 days. The British have rejected our demand. I don't know if we have a cost of belly against them now, but. I mean, Macau, will you, uh, will you say yes? Seeing as, uh, I mean, you are, you are still in NATO. Apparently you're not a recognized government. Why are you, you're in NATO, but you are not recognized by, uh, any of the major countries. It's a little bit surprising if I, uh, do say so myself. Being allied with three of the four powers and none of them recognizing your government. Probably like a little bit insulting, I would say. Yes, I think after this we will do a uh, a charm offensive. I think everybody on the Security Council is going to get a plus 75 opinion boost. The daily political power gain, like it's, it's so meaningless because I have so much political power that I can't really do too much with. I mean, I can move capital, but again, like, what does that do for us? I can move claims from territories. But again, I don't think that makes much sense. What, what are, what's your target right now? Your target is at 10%. Autonomous state is minus 20. So yeah, they're not uh they're not too upset with us. I don't know if we can ever fix the uneducated peasant population with our current focus tree. Actually, no, it's probably under the five-year plan. I almost like legitimately completely forgot this tree even existed. Uh thank you for more guns. I do appreciate it. But I still also want to get the uh of Security Council seat. So, I mean, what, do, what do you guys actually do for us? Continue reform. We're gonna demand their immediate return as well. Will they say yes? Answer is like probably no. Okay, you have 181 days left. We'll expand more oil fields in uh, Manchuria. And follow that up with. Your friendship treaty. There's actually, a, I could have bought just 100,000 guns. Which would probably be, like, really useful. A stupid amount of steel. 10 military factories is incredible. 3 civilian factories. You don't do anything for us. Get some reconstruction aid. Even more steel, even more oil. We can finish the post-war reconstruction. Like, we don't we don't need more. 5% stability per week for 365 days. Very good. That's what? It's being 52 times 5. Which is, I think, 260% stability. Pretty strong. Like, you basically never go below 100 again. I don't even know when this is actually going to be done. I mean, we're already like 39 days through it. You got 139 days. I don't know why this counts like every day as one week. It's very strange. King Farco's been deposed. I don't remember where that is. King Farco is... I don't know, actually. That's not in Cuba. I actually don't know. I, I probably said in the uh, description of the event, but I just didn't actually read it. Okay, so... Yeah, it's very strange. This is going... Uh, the, every day is one week. So I think that should mean that there's probably like... A month left, I'm hoping, until the United Nations is like, Okay, you, fair play, you guys have won. Here's the thing, economic aid. Austria still doesn't exist. 
Okay, it's 1952. Germany's existed for a while, but, but Austria is a little bit too much of a threat to global uh, stability, so I understand why they would uh, refuse this. You guys are still down in Korea. You know, you don't need to be in Korea anymore. There's no way the uh, the uh, United Nations is going to be able to effectively invade. So let's throw you guys back on the war with Burma. What if we invade Kashmir? <laughs> like, we might be able to do it. I don't know what it actually gets us. Well, we could do it. You know, just like claim a territory. Request neck recognition. There's no way. No, I, I already have a claim here. I've already got a claim on Kashmir. We have a claim. You're not voting on anything. I feel like if I want to get a claim here and try to push it, I'd rather be a major player and actually have a seat on the Security Council. Otherwise, uh, Taiwan would probably try to block it. I mean, they haven't really done so so far, but I think it is a possibility that they could do it. Like, what do I spend this political power on? I mean, I guess I can improve relations. We can issue embargoes. You know, let's improve relations with you. Um, let's improve relations with Iran. Why not improve relations with Yugoslavia? Why not just, like, everyone in uh, the Warsaw Pact? Because I, I need to spend these points somewhere. And on aggression pact, improve relations. Not military access, just improve relations. Non aggression pact, improve relations. Non aggression pact. You will all love me in due time. I mean, you're already, like, pretty positive towards us. I think, is there anybody else we need to improve? I guess also Vietnam down here. Improve relations with you. We'll even improve relations with your little puppet state. Uh, which is... Yeah, so improve relations with you. We'll even sign a non-aggression pact with you, even though I don't know if it makes that much sense to do. Is there anybody else... Who is communist that I haven't tried to improve relations with? Maybe Mongolia? Yeah, let's, let's make Mongolia like us. But I think other than that, Albania actually. Um, we haven't talked to you yet. Non-aggression pact. Improve relations. And okay, I think that's... I guess there's still you down here. Let's improve relations with you as well. Because why not? Guarantee your independence. I mean, you're at war. I don't know how likely it is for you to actually succeed in this war. I mean, I want you to win. I think there's about four days left on this. So am I at least now spending political power? Minus point. I mean, that's still going to take like three years to hit zero. And once it hits zero, I'm kind of, like, again, we're all fine with that. 20 days. And if you are going down by 7 per day. I mean, is it? Yeah. It's going, or is it going down by 7 every, like, 2 days? It's very strange. But either way. This will be over soon. We'll be able to pop it Korea. But I want to do it right away. Yeah, I mean, this will probably be... We'll probably finish at about the same time. Got a Charm Offensive. You are a 14-day focus. They failed. We've signed a White Peace. You will probably just annex them. Congratulations. You can now have South Korea. And I think I just puppet you, right? I mean, it's going to take, uh, well, 60 days. But, you know, it's worthwhile for a nice little puppet state. Be able to draw some manpower there. You guys are still trying to recognize the Indian government. I, I don't know why you're all so opposed to it. I find that very strange. Is there even, like, an opinion map mode here? 
no, there like just isn't, which I find very strange as well. Okay, he wants to train troops. We actually do have infantry equipment now, and once we could buy again a hundred thousand rifles from the Soviets, which probably does make sense to do. So something like this. I mean, I guess you won't really need to be on the border with them anymore. Why don't you draw a border around Manchuria like this? You guys will the front line in Mongolia just in case. I mean, you're still at Burma, right? I don't know if Burma will ever actually go independent or not. But what if we attack Kashmir? Because, I mean, we do have a claim state. It would take 70 days and 40 political powers. So I guess that's one thing we could spend our political power on. Is uh, trying to go to war here. And North Korea, we no longer need to give you military aid since we've already won the war. We will do a, a trade agreement, though. You already have plus 100 opinion. Like, you already love us. In faction, on aggression, pact. I'm actually not proven relation to you at all. We're now losing 1.4 per day. You're costing us like two points each, which is very expensive. But I think that at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching. I say Anthem, if you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not enjoy, you thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.